Well, hello, it's good to see you all. Welcome to our video devotions. Uh, Joy and I are just thrilled that you all have joined us uh, at our home. And we're looking forward to this month of bringing to you the Gospel of John. We're going to be looking at really the living Jesus, uh, looking at the Gospel of John about in, in terms of uh, what his resurrection brings to the picture uh, to help us understand more about uh, answering really a basic question. Uh, how do we be like Jesus? And it really kind of through the whole uh, conversation that we are going to have with you, um, you're going to hear from both of us and uh, looking forward to bringing that. Starting us off, we're going to look at uh, a very well-known section of John, John chapter 1, and Joy's going to be reading from that. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation, and I'm going to skip a few verses. I'll be reading verses 1, 1 through 5. 9 through 14, and then 16 through 18. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through Him, and nothing was created except through Him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and His life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognize him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with the physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the Word became human and made His home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen His glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. From His abundance we have received, all received one gracious blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, but God's unfailing love and faithfulness came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the unique one, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. You know, as Tom and I were talking, I recalled a, an aha moment that I had. Um, one of my first seminary classes, my professor said that the Bible itself is God's revelation of himself to us. Just, I always thought it was just a bunch of stories put together by man, but really it's God revealing who he is through these stories. And I think of John, the book of John, as revealing who Jesus is, so that the second part of the Trinity. And then the third part, I think of Acts as being a revelation of the Holy Spirit. So with that, as we think about um, what John is telling us about the living Jesus and who Jesus is. Joy, I think some people just had an aha moment of them for themselves, um, not just with what you said, but that you revealed you have been to seminary. Uh, <laughs> Joy has got a master's in biblical studies. Mm -hmm. uh, where is it from again? Birmingham Theological Seminary. Right. And uh, so she had a great uh, uh, education there mm -hmm. and remember attending your, your graduation. <laughs> That was great. I went as an older adult. <laughs> yes, you did. And that's great. And But that's kind of a neat aha moment. And um, it's just such great to have a, you as a partner in, in this. Yeah, I, when it comes to who Jesus is and the revelation of, of Jesus in the Gospel of John, he uses that word um, word quite a bit. And in the really in the biblical understanding of God's word has got a lot that's that's just packed into it. Uh, lots of passages focus on how how much God's word does. Uh, it's not just something that is spoken. It has power to create. It it also lasts forever. It's the source of hope, uh, healing for everyone in the world, not just for God's people. Uh, one passage from Isaiah comes to mind um, where it says, it, it is the same uh, with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all that I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere where I send it. Well, John captures that last piece, sent. One of the key themes in the Gospel of John is that Jesus is the word that has been sent 
uh, from the Father. Uh, and, and he writes, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. God sent his Word to us in the form of Jesus. Uh, the author of Hebrews wrote uh, in a slightly different way, but basically the same. He became like us in every way. So in Jesus, we see both who God is, um, and he showed us power. Uh, he showed us God's power, his truth, his grace, and his glory. Uh, to know Jesus is to know Almighty God. But this isn't just a mental exercise or or really an idea, a concept to study. It's an earthy, hands-on type of relationship. Um, another thing that's mentioned here is, is darkness. And well, our darkness is real. And we need God's light. We need God's light so that we can live really as truly human. That's the second piece that he's not just God in the flesh. Um, he is truly human. That's what incarnate means. So we discover more about how to be truly human by by looking at mm -hmm. Jesus. Well, it's hard to to conceive mentally that God was 100% human and also 100% divine. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is to me this focuses on the humanness of Jesus and the living Jesus that we have. And the the exciting thing is that if we accept and believe this, we can become a child of God. And that's what it means to be truly human, to be his child. Yeah. And the deeper our faith in Jesus goes, the more that we become like God in everything that we do and say. And um, again, that's just who, becoming human and God's really true creation. And precious. And very precious, true, yes. Precious. We are precious to mm -hmm. him. Uh, thanks, and, and uh, let's, let's just go ahead and pray. Okay. Um, have prayer. Thank you, God, that you bring light into our darkness. Thank you for sending Jesus to live among us and to show us who you are. And Lord, we just thank you for today. And as we go through this day, help us to become more like you, um, who are people of truth and grace, showing your mercy to everyone that we're in touch with. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. We look forward to tomorrow. We'll be looking at the next half of, of John chapter 1. Um, uh, really through the eyes of John the Baptist. Well, have a great day, everybody.